Happy New Year, Renegade Nation! Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Betas Bandicoot, Bash Fetchum, Crystal Gomez, Chris, Oliver Odegaard, James Butterworth, Amar Shika, Rogelio Gomez, Sean Delaney, Jessica Bogus, Dan Robin, Liam, Farron Chowdhury, Harris, Biggest Dickus, Monty Python fan I see, Trentix, Jawad Krebs, Ju Chin, Good Christian Boy, Lindsay Johnson, Jordan Kirk, Hanolex, Banana Peel, Devon, Fathalo, Lit, Thomas Mollett, Elite Leaks, and Moisty Justice. And I would also like to give a big shout out to our executive producers, Joshua Fix, The Gimster 101, and Bevan Brummett. Thank you all very much for your support. If you want to become a YouTube member, click the join button right down beside the subscribe button down below. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. Damn it. <laughs> Got owned by a guy named Duke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow, this dude, this dude right here, is this Colonel Sanders? Yes. Pain Yachty. I, the Pain Yachty Showdown. It, I believe this is a, I believe this is, you know, Badger uh, on one of these teams, pretty much just doing his thing and taken down i i don't know truth is badger's a lot better at uh siege than i am hell there's a lot of people out there who are better at siege than i am me i i play it casually i play it to have fun me and my boys me and my boys we we play it every now and again me uh <laughs> me jacob and nick uh, nick doesn't play as much anymore justin plays it with us i mean hell i like playing siege it's fun but you know, there's people who've been playing it a lot longer, you know, since the beginning, who are really, really good at the game, and I I just need to work on strats, because Nick and I looked at uh, strats and, you know, just precise places for, uh, for uh, reinforcements, uh, how to prep against uh, whenever they have hard breach, it's... There's a whole litany of just different ways to play this game that I'm probably never going to be able to learn in time, but honestly, I just, I enjoy, uh, you know, I used to enjoy watching tactical uh, gameplay of uh, CSGO back in the day. Uh, one of my favorite moments ever was the Hiko, are you kidding me? Uh, I didn't see it live, but I saw the highlights, I believe, a day later. And seeing Hiko just go nuts and just pow, headshot. I, just unbelievable reaction time. And how some people are able to do that, it's beyond me. I don't know how people are able to play games like that. But yeah, uh, Pain Yachty Showdown in Rainbow Six Siege by the Russian Badger. So uh, let's get this up on screen. Let's see what happens. Here we go. The real question mark for me on Team Pain is going to be Russian Badger going with the recruit pick. Oh. Not oh. exactly an operator that you see a lot of play with. Uh, dude, I, I love him. He's going to be bringing out the memes all match. I can just feel it. Starting with the recruit. Recruit is a meme. Two weeks ago, I played in a Rainbow Six oh! show match of T-Pain and Lil Yachty. Okay, okay, I get it now. Team T-Pain versus Team Lil Yachty for charity and a cash prize in LA. We got T-Pain, we got ammunition, we got b man we got Lil Lexi, and we got the Russian Badger. What's good, homie? And holy shit, did I ever receive an unexpected response. I had 15,000 viewers on my stream when I usually can't clear 1,500. I was featured in all kinds of E3 videos due to my lone singular individual clap. And my god, was it ever a fucking tidal wave in my Twitter mentions about how much taller I am than everybody else. Yeah, Badger, you're tall. Uh, how tall is T-Pain? Uh, maybe I can use this as a reference to find out how tall Badger actually is. Let's see. T-Pain 
height. Motherfucker's 5'8! What? Dude, I'm like six, I'm like half a foot taller than him. Damn! I did not know T-Pain was that small. That bro, like, he, he like a teddy bear. <laughs> so I don't know why you guys thought I was small when I'm six foot four, which accidentally spawned the most unexpected 5'11 versus six foot meme ever. <laughs> Yo, dude! Look at how I'm tall! <laughs> so I figured, fuck it. I'm 6'2". Okay, I'm 6'2". I'm pretty tall. Badger, I did not know you were like, you were like, stretch up there. Stretch Armstrong up in that motherfucker. Story from my perspective, from the dumbass pictures, to me being on camera when I shouldn't be, to me refusing to drink from T-Pain's solo cup, to recruit rushing, to spawn peeking with the Chanky Kang, the whole shebang. I have no plans whatsoever to take this seriously and try to win. I am gonna do the dumbest shit imaginable. But before we get started, I gotta thank Dollar Shave Club for keeping me- Bring on the memes, badge! On Let me go full screen on this video. shit. Because I may have a goofy ass looking face, but by God, is it ever clean shaven. Simply yes, it is. Grooming products in your bathroom like shampoo and body wash are finite, as in you will inevitably run out of them and need to buy more. But what if you didn't? What if your shave stuff, shower stuff, mouth stuff, odor stuff, and even butt stuff all magically appeared at your front door in a box for a small fee? That's Dollar Shave Club, the people that deliver all the items you need to stay fresh to death. My morning routine includes showering, shaving, brushing, and styling, but you want to know what it doesn't include? Going to the store, finding items, waiting in line, and flat out waiting wasting my own f***ing time. Right now, you can see what I mean by trying out their trial set of shave butter, two-in-one face face-and body wash, and two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, along with my personal favorite executive razor handle and four shaving cartridges that I've been using every day for the past three years, all for just five bucks. If you like it, you can upgrade Damn. to full sizes of each, add or remove products to your liking, and even adjust how often you receive them. All up to you, and the more you buy, the more you save. Or shave. Make your life easier at dollarshaveclub.com slash badger i repeat dollarshaveclub.com slash badger by getting your first starter set for just five bucks and thank you to dollar shave club for sponsoring the video shave time shave money it's all down below showdown time first of all going into this thing i was sleep deprived as shit i had to pull an all-nighter to finish a sponsored ghost recon video that was also due on the 10th so i was awake for 32 straight hours before the game even began so with me already nice nice Nice, Badger. Nice. Doing the most moronic dipshit strats known to man, it was only enhanced by the fact that I was running on fumes and needed a large dose of Mentats just to operate a keyboard. Mentats. Secondly, God. it took me an hour just to get into the fucking venue. The bouncer slash door guy was like, I don't see you on this list, pal. And I was like, are you... Sure, because that poster over there promoting the T-Pain Lil Yachty show match has my dumbass face on it, sipping from an even dumber looking face on a coffee mug. I'm even wearing the same fucking shirt, my guy. No dice. Still didn't allow me to enter until I started yelling, Let me in. Let me in! That got the Let me in! My Intero, who is a caster in Pro League and happened to be a caster for the event, who got me into the venue like the god he is. So just getting inside of the Good first shit, place Intero. was a challenge. Then I'm slapped by surprise again because the venue wasn't inside, it was outside, and it may have been shaded, but it was still 94 fucking degrees in LA and I was in jeans. So just adding to the list here. Sleep deprived? Check. Annoyance of Ubisoft staff? Check. Extreme swamp ass. Check. But whatever, I'm no newcomer to adversity and apologizing in advance for the audio because both our streams and recordings don't have the voices of my teammates without Bork the setup was, so it sounds like I'm talking to myself the whole time. Chat, you're not gonna be able to hear T-Pain. I swear, I'm talking to Lil Lexi and Bananas and Ammunition and T-Pain. I'm not just making it up. I'm not just saying, oh yeah, that, that's right. That's right, my best friend T-Pain. Yeah, sure, good point. The pregame essentially <laughs> consisted of me making fun of T-Pain for rhyming the word mansion with Wisconsin in his 2008 song, Can't Believe It. Oh my God, I'm, I'm gonna ruin this for you, T-Pain. I'm so sorry. As soon as I saw you, it's just, I can put you in a mansion <laughs> way out in Wisconsin. <laughs> Yes! Oh! Oh! <laughs> the shit posting. Oh, Badger, even in real life, pure shit posting. I love it! Oh! God damn it. You had a response. I can't believe people let you get away with that, but that's so legendary that you did. It's so great, man. There's been a <laughs> lot of those uh, in, in, in hip hop, like, period. So, you know, I figure I can get away with one of them. <sighs> 
One of them. Legendary status. That's why you got two bouncers, my man. That's why you got two. Yeah. <laughs> he knows what's up. Kanye, Kanye, my favorite ones. Kanye once said, uh, don't ever fix your lips like collagen when all you're going to do is end up apologizing. Ooh. Yeah. And you know, that whole part where I had to claim that my white monster boomer juice was just water for branding slash broadcast slash copyright purposes. Yeah, I, lo I love water too. I love water. I'm a huge fan of that that hydration juice, my favorite. With that out of the way, it was finally <laughs> time to get this shit going. And here Damn it. we go. Let's do it. Let's play. All right, away we go. One final sip of boomer juice. Here we go, fellas. It's real boomer hours. Round one, you already know what the fuck about to happen. Yeah! Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm, I'm, I'm recruit rushing. I'm just busting my ass in there at full speed. Let's do this. Do it. Do it, badge. Let's go. Yeah, boost, 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 get Spencer, Spencer, Spencer. Because it does appear that with the first Vega boost going oh my off, God. Russian Badger is already at the finish line. <laughs> just inside. I'm out here. I'm playing games like a real gamer. Here we go, fellas. Here we go, Cav. Kill number one. Woo! Yeah, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, kill number two, Damn. Baby. I forgot the Get him, Badger. No shit. Yeah, damn it. Ah. Uh. Kitchen. No. T-Pain is looking for his first kill. He's gonna be having to do some heavy lifting here and doesn't pick the best opportunity to reload. Ooh. Oh, he's Woo! Oh, he got he's him! Insane. On the board! On the board! He's down! One left. Good shit, long. Lex. You can see in the bottom right hand corner the diffuser being planted. That's the objective here. It's oh. in the corpse of the Russian badger. Hey, he's giving him a pillow. There you go. <laughs> yeah! There it is, baby! Yeah! He's doing a victory lap. He's going all the way. Go P around. go T Pay. Go T Pay. Thank you very much. Let's go to round two. Round two had to run my favorite Russian warlord fuse because the show match oh, yeah. isn't a show match without a cluster charge kill. Alright, the Russian warlord is in the house. I believe in you. Why is there a question mark at the end of that I I I I believe in you? I believe in you. I'm, I believe in I'm you? Sorry. Excuse me. Alright, bananas, we're working our way upstairs. Come on, Nanners. Back you up. Sister. Come on, Nanners. I forgot my gadget button. Oh wait, I take that back. That's not Nanners. That's Bananas. Yeah, I think I got it. Yeet! It's all up to me now. Oh, oh I got, got one! Behind me. No! Damn, yeah. Damn it! Sure, I died, but when one Russian doesn't get the job done, grab a second. <laughs> and, hit and let me tell you, this guy, nobody hits hard. Didn't quite have the pizzazz to put it down, fellas. We're still peeking though. Oh, Woo! baby! Headshot. Dink! Boom! Got dink! Right in the friggin' face! Left side now, left side. Yes! Checked and wrecked! Good shot! Good shot! I'm bad bananas. Math. This is not good. Probably my Be favorite nans. moment of the whole match. Simply because the commentator saw me about to peek Bikini with Tachanky Kang and were basically like, You can't just spawn peek with Shanka's pistol. Beep. To which I responded, Observe. Followed by bang, 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 bang. Everybody getting some two bags and pulls out the PDM. It's a great degree of difficulty putting down this turret, and I think the spawn peak with the pistol is not exactly the wisest of ideas. But he's gonna oh fucking my one. Goodness. Oh, it's a bikini Let's go. body. Absolute embarrassment. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. It's round four. I really had to up the ante. So I decided I would throw out three alibi clones and spawn peak, to which an inexperienced Ooh. player looks like a four man spawn rush. And let's just say that they weren't really ready for Betty Spaghetti. Now, three decoys. Oh yes, my god! Was. No! Edwards. No! Checked and wrecked volume two. I can't believe it worked, fellas. We actually did it. May not have won the round, but oh so worth it. Round five, things are Memes. starting to Just just badger memeing on everybody. This is one of the best things ever. I love it. Uh, because Lil Yachty ended up TKing the shit out of Cap Can. I lit his corpse on fire before shooting Yachty in the face with my saw, and I gotta be honest, he was not too happy about it. We're up on health right now. Yachty, Yachty. Oh no! Oh, Yachty kills it! Oh. <laughs> Who's that? Who that? Bink. That's Mira. Nice shield. Nice try, little Yachty. Dude, we got down by oh. They're gonna come in. Bruh. Why the fuck would they make this game? Oh, nay, oh, nay, friendly oh, shooter fire. Why the fuck would they do that? <laughs> friendly shooter fire. God dang. Come on, Yachty. It's a realistic procedural shooter. You, you, you had to expect that. <laughs> 
Just shoot everything. Oh, I was just spraying to the wall. He's, he's in reading. He's in reading. He's in reading. On the ground. Oh. Yes, the beat. The beat. It's here in this round, but I'm about to look at No. Never in no. No. Don't dab like that. <laughs> although, although that was a pretty sick dab. That's the best dab I've ever seen. Years did I think that T-Pain would bring more pain than me in Rainbow Six. This is impossible. Make it stop. The next round, I can only describe as Clutch or Kick, featuring belligerent screaming and T-Pain. Hold up, hold up, hold up to pay respects. Hold up! T-Pain Clutch time. In the 1v4 situation. The finals on the line. 500 million dollars. The Canadian woman's gonna kill you. Oh, baby, the headshot! T-Pain! There's another one ahead of you, T-Pain. Frost is in that room. Oh! Oh, the double! He's down! You gotta finish her off! Finish her off! She's only down! You gotta go, kid! You gotta finish her off! Finish her! Finish her! No, that's a dead body! There! Shoot her! Oh, no! Good try! Not Damn like it. this! Not like this! Oh. Slash! Round seven was Got another sliced. nail biter, and the only thing that I contributed to my team was being a clown in the prep phase with my comms that fortunately or unfortunately ended up on the mainstream. So listen closely. Where to hatch? Where this to is hatch? a. If you were to I play this game seriously, and you look at the lineup of Team Yachty, okay. so this is a very at interesting point, lineup. You got a shield <laughs> operator, you got two shields, so really Sacriel running like the black beard, and then once again, the we mentioned this thing in the very first round it gives you the boost. And for that reason. I'm out. Oh, oh, uh, I got Thermite. I got Thermite. Oh, the double. Thermite's going to reading. He's going to reading. Or sorry, whatever. Yeah, yeah, near you. Near you in. Oh. Nice. Oh, ammunition. Pick it up, frags. No, no, in two seconds, T-Pain. It's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap for this dude on the red stairs. It's about to be over. It's about to be over. Yes! See? What did I say? Call Damn, it. Son, Good call, like Badge. Good call. Two versus five. I was trying to do percentages, and midway through, I was like, abort, abort this shit. Do not, do not continue. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. It's a best of nine game, which means it's first of five wins, which means it's match point, fellas. And if you think I'm not hitting to Chanky, y'all really on some shit. Yeah. This is T'Chanka <laughs> on his turn. <laughs> Shit, shit, shit. And Xander knows exactly where T'Chanka is, so you have this preparation phase, where as an attacker, you know exactly where the defenders can be, and all it's gonna take is a quick little mark here. I've been spotted. Russian Badger is gonna be found out, and he might not be long for this earth. Wait, wait, I don't know, man. You might not. Got one. Oh, he got him. This is peak performance right here. Xander, you may not on. like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Right at the door. They got Hibana. They Damn it. got Hibana coming in delivery. I got one. I'm satisfied. Yo, 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 T Pan, you wanna give me this camera? Alright. <laughs> All right. Thank you. The camera's now mine. I, oh, good shot. Relax. Good shot. Rusty grapes over here. My goodness. Uh, drop, drop near Skylight is Blackbeard. Oh, good shot, Anne. Anne is just dropping. Oh, same place, Anne. Same place. Same place. That's uh, that's Ash. Same place. No. Easy kills. Oh, yes. wait. Oh, he got it. Yes. Okay. All dead. All dead. Please don't kill each other for the defuse. I swear to God. Please don't. Please don't. T paint. Oh. <laughs> Damn it, Anne. <laughs> yes. Yes. The hyper carries. Lexi! The absolute unit. Well done. Well done. With five kills, that's not bad. We are the champions, my friend. <laughs> Just kidding. I won't do that. 40 bands to Thank the charity you. of St. Jude. Eight grand a piece in straight cash, homie, to everyone on T-Pain. And one singular powerful clap in the winner's circle because my ass was tired of clapping. Make them noise for Team Pain! All right, are you guys ready? 40K for St. Jude Play Live! The biggest check in the world! Followed by me asking T-Pain if he would buy me a drink as a silly reference to his 2007 hit single, Buy You a Drink, featuring Young Jock. So we have both teams. We're gonna take a few pictures. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> we got the red cups. And a final sign-off by T-Pain. All I gotta say is...
We gamers, man. We play for everybody. We play for ourselves. We play. We play to win. And you know, we gamers, man. That's how we work. You know. And that's about it. And you see what I mean? No matter how tall I am, I always look tiny in this chair. After watching this video back a couple of times, it just kind of evolved into a living, breathing shit post. Even though I didn't mean it to be. Like a perfectly valid criticism would be, why do you have Cyrax from Mortal Kombat and Red Hood as your commentator placeholders? To which I have no response whatsoever. Thank you so much, Dollar Shade Club, for sponsoring the video, so don't forget about the link down below. <laughs> Thank you to everybody that made it possible, everybody from Twitch and Twitch Rivals and Ubisoft to T-Pain to Lil Yachty to my team to their team to Intero and Wave as the commentators, everybody that I met. Thank everybody. You. Thanks again so much for watching, and be sure to tune in next time when I actually try out BR. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, above all, like, I, I haven't played with any, I, okay, I had the, mm, trying to think of who I've interacted with that's like, that's like, famous, uh, this man, this man got offered a, a, a solo cup by T-Pain and he did not take it, honestly, I can't, I, I, I'd have probably took it and like and just been like just been like salute and then like sat it back down. I wouldn't have taken a drink, but <laughs> I'd say like Nogla is probably the one that I've like had like actually talked to in game, in person. I'd say probably the most famous person I have ever been in uh, like been in like actual presence of. Damn. Several musicians. Uh, mm, probably Dean. Uh, mm, I don't know. I, I don't know. There's a lot to think on that. But I think it's uh, that's cool that that's cool that uh, Badger got to be a part of that. I mean, given how good he is at at Rainbow Six Siege, I mean, he was shit posting the hell out of it. I'm going to leave a like on that video, and I'm also going to uh, go down here, and uh, <laughs> I'm also going to leave a comment down below as well, and uh, yeah, this, this, this shit, this shit, I, I love this. I would not mind, I would not mind, you know, watching more stuff, like, it, it, hey, famous people out there, invite Russian Badger into your shit, because the dude's legit funny, and also the Dollar Shave Club thing, I mean, Nick does Dollar Shave Club. I'll I'll get him to use uh, your uh, promo code, uh, Badger. Whenever <clears throat> whenever I go back upstairs and I see him, I'll tell him to use it. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> this was this was really really good. Uh, the Canadian one's trying to kill you. Yeah. So once again, uh, if you want to see more from Russian Badger, you know what to do. You can actually click his name in the title of the video. If you want to see more from us, you know what to do. You can actually uh, click that uh, subscribe button. You ring that bell to stay notified. And uh, yeah, once again, props to Russian Badger. Good shit. And uh, until next time, everybody, signing off. I'm Nate. I'll see you then. Peace out.